So I'm going to uh, introduce the audience to um, Harpreet Pasricha, one of India's leading experts on nutrition. She has been actively involved in the weight loss and wellness space for over 20 years. She is the founder and director of Diet Doctor Clinic, a chain of weight loss and wellness clinics across the country. And of course, she's been on a lifelong mission to help, help people to get healthy uh, as naturally as possible. Uh, welcome, uh, Ms. Harpreet Pasricha. Thank you so much for joining us. We really Good evening, you. everyone. I'd like the audience to also know a little bit more about the fantastic work Harpreet does on nutrition. Um, various workshops conducted across corporates, Rotary clubs, government bodies, making sure that she spreads the news and information about how to stay healthy and fit. Um, Harpreet, of course, has also won several awards, very well respected in her field, and uh, therefore we completely appreciate the time she has been giving us today. Philippe, uh, as you know, is an ACE certified personal trainer co-founder of Fitness Bar, which is in Miramar, Goa, and he has helped many clients transform and assist them on their road to wellness and fitness. Princey Mehta is a choreographer, group fitness trainer, and founder of Threda. She conducts group classes in various forms and formats. She's got her very popular hit, strength and conditioning, the animal flow, which is very specific to her. And of course, uh, she is known as a dance fitness uh, trainer as well. She works with various schools, colleges, and clients for dance projects, as well as for choreographies. Strong, wild, happy, that's what she is. And that's her philosophy that she brings to the world. Um, so I am completely amazed with the fact that she's always um, energetic, always on the roll. And she um, and, and one of her uh, very interesting uh, passions is her brand Threda, which is Bohemian eth ethnic clothing. So I'm going to tell you a little more about uh, all of our participants in a bit. That's Princey there. And so you know what she did when she was uh, able to go outdoors. And this is what she does now when she's not able to go outdoors. So that kind of tells all of us that uh, we all have the opportunity to be able to keep uh, completely fit. Arpreet, if I can address the first question to you. Um, yes. You know that um, the COVID-19 has brought one big concern to everybody. And that is what is it that I can do today to build and boost my immunity? What are the foods that I can eat to boost my immunity? If you can throw some light on that very quickly, that will really help us. Yes, Rina, I think that's uh, one of the most uh, searched on the Google, how to boost immunity. And uh, yes, immunity uh, system, our immune system is our uh, line of defense. It's the first and the last line of defense. And uh, before I go ahead and tell you, listen, have haldi and, uh, you know, go and have uh, some uh, do bargaining, I would first like to tell you that there are two things when we talk about immunity. Okay, one is things that can strengthen our immunity. And second is the food habits and things which are going to weaken our immunity. Okay, so till we stop things which are going to weaken our immunity, there's no point doing something which is going to strengthen. Right. Because we're somewhere, un, uh, you know, undoing the whole thing. So things which are actually affecting and they're weakening our system, one is improper sleep. So when I'm saying improper sleep, it doesn't mean number of hours. I think most of them are sleeping more than required. It's the sleep cycle which they're not following. Okay, so that is one thing uh, which weakens the immunity. Two, what weakens the immunity is the processed food. Okay. okay, so anything processed, anything which is junk made of refined flour, refined sugar, that is definitely going to weaken the immunity. So all those people who are looking at ordering some things and stuff like that, if you're doing it very frequently, I think just hold on, it's going to weaken your immunity. Third is alcohol. Okay, we all know how alcohol affects the liver, right? Uh, fourth is smoking. Okay, so all those who are smoking, you understand, uh, you, this is one of the best time. You may be having your resolutions every year, thinking, that, okay, I'm going to give up my uh, smoking this year. But this time, I think it's a time to, you know, uh, quit smoking. 
inactivity, which I'm sure Princey and Philip would agree to me, inactivity, lack of exercise is definitely going to affect the immune system. So these are the things, even the aerated drinks. I have a lot of people saying, oh, I'm having Coke, but it has zero calorie. That doesn't matter. Really. It's not about the calories. It's what is in it, the high sugar content, which is going to damage and weaken your immunity. So these things are going to definitely weaken the immunity. Now, things which can help, which can boost up your immunity is one, are Indian spices and herbs. I have, I personally believe maybe the number of cases which have not increased, one, maybe we had an early lockdown. Two is the kind of food we all, ha all have been eating. See, if it is Goa, they have been having a lot of curry patta, they've been using jackfruit, they've been using uh, Indian spices, kokum. If it's not Indian, they've been using a lot of uh, haldi. So this has been a part and parcel of our diet anyways. So now, now people in the West are getting up and having to say, oh, we are having curcumin or we are having curcumin oil. But we've been having this, I think, since we were born. The first dish what we're eating is khichdi, which is, or kanji, which is full of, you know, rice, dal and uh, haldi or even dal water, which has haldi. So uh, definitely Indian spices and herbs. So whether it is curry leaves, whether it is pudina, dhania, rai, okay, or green chilies, uh, kokum, make sure that you're using all of uh, those foods. Exercising, very important. Even you can uh, do basic 20 or 30 minutes of stretching, yoga. I think Princey can give you a little more uh, brief on that, depending on your age uh, and stuff. And um, definitely uh, another thing is your local seasonal foods. So right now, jackfruit is in season and jackfruit seeds are in season. Pineapple, mangoes, you know. So instead of running and looking for some superfoods in Garcinia, Cambodia, and you know, all the fancy names, just go pick up your coca, it's Garcinia, Cambodia family. Okay, or similarly, jackfruit seeds has such a, a good of the powerhouse of for nutrition. So, and my mantra always, home cooked food that is going to help you build your immunity. So a quick uh, recap, I would say your Indian spices and herbs, activity, some kind of activity, at least 30 minutes a day, and uh, no processed food, proper sleep means following a sleep cycle, sleeping by 10, 30, 11, and waking up by 6, 37, not sleeping at two o'clock and waking up at 12 in the morning and saying, oh, I slept for 10 hours, that's not sufficient. That's not right, actually. Uh, then uh, alcohol, aerated drinks, smoking, you need to definitely quit at this point. Uh, you should completely stay away from it. And these are very simple tips I think everybody, most of us can follow. There is no big mantra for immunity. These are the basic foods. There's no point going and buying the green. For example, my, you know, if I'm having a pizza and a burger and I, and I love doing it, uh, adding a bit of microgreens, uh, do you think that kind of gives me that nutritional benefit? Yes, if you, anyways, if you're doing a pizza which is homemade, anyways, it's it's a perfect okay with me. Okay, so and we all need our treats once in a while. Yes, we can make it wholesome by adding things like microgreens, sprouts to it, or rocket leaves. We can obviously make it more wholesome and more nutritive by just doing tweaking them a little bit. Microgreens uh, are one of again one of the uh, powerhouse of nutrients, and I personally love them in my salads and my smoothies, and I uh, I have them as regularly and. Uh, now the supplies are a little lesser. Hopefully you'll be uh, sending some to me now soon. Yes, absolutely. So I'm going to thank you so much, uh, Hartreet. I'm going to ask Philippe, see, Princey, you never fail to amaze me. Of course, you've been conducting <laughs> classes on a regular basis and helping people stay fit. Uh, but I know thank you, Rina. the moment the lockdown was announced, you were online. And um, I know a whole lot of people who have not been able to be that proactive, right? Uh, take your classes immediately online, never once dropping the ball and staying committed to your clients and the community with your fitness routine. Tell me about your online sessions. What's special about them? So um, this is pretty much uh, the platform that I use to conduct my online uh, sessions. Uh, I think as soon as the lock lockdown, I think we had, as Harpreet said, we had a quite early lockdown. So pretty much from the third week of March is when I started taking online classes and I still continue to uh, take them. And it's something as simple as body weight training for one hour at home. You can also do something as simple as a 30 to 40 minutes of body weight training at home. And of course, I mean, most of us don't have, uh, you know, equipments at home, like neither a treadmill or a couple of, um, you know, weights. It is important to just understand that with just your body weight, there is so much, so much of variety that you can do um, just in that little small space at home. So that's what uh, particularly I've been focusing on. Um, 
I've had clients who have been absolutely regular in terms of joining every single day and saying, oh my God, you know, by being home, I am much more disciplined, much more, uh, you know, dedicated and focused and I absolutely enjoy. So the, the entire ball game of, you know, working out at home and body weight training is changing and the kind of... Uh, uh, it, it just sets your day right. So broadly speaking about my personal class, it is about body weight training. I do a lot of mobility and flexibility work as well. I make sure that, you know, uh, it's a wholesome balanced program wherein you are getting your cardio also as well as your strength work. Some very basic strength work like push and pull elements. So that's broadly what I focus on and that's something that I used to do before the lockdown also. So even in my group classes, which I... Uh, used to conduct at fitness bar uh, uh, this this is the wholesome program that i focus on sounds great Pranzi. sounds excellent and i'm going to introduce uh Philippe by just by just sharing with the audience um a little bit audience that's for you that's Philippe uh working out right and now we all need to know how does he do that <laughs> What gives him that tip? So Philippe, this uh, question is to you. Uh, should we work out when we are stressed? Of course, like I said, uh, there is a bit of stress going on. What is it that uh, you do? What is it a good idea? Your question. Yeah. Yeah, I, I heard your question. I, I did hear your question, Rina, and it's very important to work out for your mood as well, yeah. because a good workout definitely elevates the mood. You know, so it's not a question of working out just for your fitness, but your mental health as well is improved with a regular workout. Yes. So it's very, very important to work out on a daily basis, even if it's just for 45 minutes in a day. You don't have to lift heavy weights, as Princey said. It's any workout routine. Everybody does not have treadmills at home or dumbbells at home some sort of body weight exercises or even a jog we are living on the fourth floor of a building run up and down stairs whatever you feel is good but just do it because it releases the happy endorphins into your body and you're just fine once they're there into your body your stress levels will drop definitely perfect thanks a ton uh, you're seeming a little out of breath so thanks for that answer i'm going to move on to i'm going to quickly move on to harpreet because we've got a question from the audience so i'm going to request the audience to type in your questions now in the chat box and i'm going to read them out so wayne de silva has got a question i'm assuming is for harpreet he says do you think it is necessary to track your macronutrients and caloric intake on a daily basis especially while being in a lockdown so uh, harpreet can you take that question Okay, so uh, when we talk about calorie intake or we talk about macronutrients or micronutrients, I think it's important to track down everything, but not get obsessed with it. Okay, so you have more or uh, less a rough idea of how much do you eat, you know, what is your consumption of carbohydrate, whether you eat carbohydrate in form of rice or bread or uh, chapati. Okay, similarly, you must be having, when you're talking about macronutrients, macronutrients are carbohydrate, fat and protein. So you more or less have an idea. But now if you think during the lockdown, you're doing it more. Yes, there are a lot of apps where uh, you can keep uploading and you can keep figuring out, but don't get obsessed with it. Because once you get obsessed, there's a, with a thin balance where we're keeping a food diary, where we're maintaining records, seeing how much exercise we are doing, how much time are we sleeping, what are we doing to de-stress, very good idea. But the time we start getting obsessed and then weighing our food and saying, oh, okay, my carbohydrate intake is done and I'm not going to eat my dinner and then I'm not able to sleep, I'm tossing on the bed, not a very good idea. Yes, keep a check, don't get obsessed. All right, the chat box open for you to ask questions now, but I'm going to address another one to, uh, to uh, actually let me start with the breathe again. Uh, weight loss is something you've been very popular with and all of us are sitting and eating so much. Tell us about what to do about that. How are we going to manage uh, weight loss when we've been overeating in the last 40 plus days? Okay, so when I'm talk when we talk about weight loss, I think uh, quarantine, not quarantine, or we're in lockdown, not no lockdown. Everybody, most of us, I think, they still want to lose that one or two kilos of weight. Everybody's like, they feel, oh, I I need to lose and I need to get into this dress and I'll look better. So my first thing is, a lot of people 
there are two category of people which i have been you know coming across one category is who are like okay let me use this time and they have started messing up you know they started getting on to some uh, random diets crash diets they have started doing fasting one meal a day two meal a day you know those kind of stuff and at this point i any point i anyways tell people do not have any kind of routine which is crash or don't follow any uh, you know diet which is ditching a food group say you're doing a particular diet and you're ditching a carbohydrate or ditching a protein not a very good idea but at this time i think because people say oh i have 15 days or 20 days or one month let me try and push this weight loss they are getting into something dry either they are doing detoxes and having just juice diets and fruits or they are doing ketogenic plans or they are doing fasting diet eating one meal a day two meals a day not a good idea anyways it's not a good idea any time but at particularly this time definitely no you cannot you know play around with your immune system you need that micronutrients whether it is selenium whether it is chromium whether it is zinc whether it is vitamin c you cannot be just popping in medications you know all the time and saying oh, i am eating a supplement i am not i am you know i am on a ketogenic diet but i am having a b complex and i am having a uh, vitamin c and i am having a vitamin d doesn't make a sense because your absorption rate is just what 30 so first advice uh, for all of you yes it is important to lose weight we all know that any kind of underlying diseases whether it is hypertension diabetes obesity overweight for those people they are more vulnerable to any infection leave apart the covid okay now uh, when you are doing a weight loss make sure that you are doing it in a right way having a balanced food that's what we always say we've always been talking about so do it in a right way not in the wrong way don't get into some quick fixes crash diets that is going to you know leave you definitely with blue, you know weakened immunity hair loss i have a lot of people who went on these diets and then say oh, i have a major hair loss now can i have a supplement it's really not so do, do a weight loss with right balanced nutrition and in exercise okay exercise is very important you need to build muscle to lose weight and when we're talking about weight it's not just weight we're talking about fat okay you can lose kilos by doing simple uh, you know crash diets and just doing something like fruit and juice diet and and diet and lose 3 kilos or 4 kilos of weight on weighing scale but have you lost the fat percentage is the question because fat is what is surrounding your organs and making you sick and diseased okay so fat percentage can only be lost by some kind of an exercise and building muscle so uh, you need to pick up definitely you need to lose weight but in a right way give yourself a uh, time take it slow and steady and all those people who are overeating i would say you're all most of us are walking from home you have to make a schedule you cannot just wake up at 9:30 10 and say okay i'll log into my system i'll okay, have a cup of cup of coffee now i'll have my breakfast at 12 just imagine that you are going to the office in the similar way of you are assigning a place in your house and keeping your mid meals whether it is nuts or roasted grams or green tea along with your table or having your good breakfast and then start to work not in between getting up getting into the fridge picking up some can or you know some juice and coming back and again working this is what a lot a lot of people are doing and then another thing what they're doing is the uh, probably keeping to the diet and exercising the entire day and binge watching and binge eating so end of the day they have a packet of chips and i think when they're talking about essential chips and ice creams are still available Okay, so people are like you know picking up a packet of chips and ice creams and then eating and then sleeping at three o'clock and then waking up like sluggish at nine thirty ten logging into work. You'll definitely not lose weight. Try anything. So it's definitely you'll keep on now. Uh, your weight will still your bulges will keep coming up. So all those who want to lose weight, make sure doing it in a right way, building up muscle. Any exercise, I'm sure Philip and Princey can guide you with exercise. Is a kind of exercise as per your age, and do not follow what your friend followed, because you have you're a different body type. Your age is different. Your male, female, what kind of hormonal changes you're going in, what kind of deficiencies you have, the vitamin D deficiency, calcium deficiency. If you have any medical issues, based on that, get your diet and your exercise customized, customized and designed. Thank you so much, uh, Harpreet. I'm going to ask uh, Philip. I know that you offer personal training and nutrition plans at home. Uh, so, how do you keep yourself fit at home? What is your nutrition plan? 
Well, uh, the nutrition expert has just spoken actually, so... Uh, Tell me about your fitness, but, Tell us about your fitness. But, uh, your as far as my diet. personal nutrition goes, I, I follow a wholesome diet. So there's no food uh, category that is dropped off. And uh, I do work out every day. I make sure that I manage at least 40 minutes to half an hour of a workout daily. You know, the, the, the key thing over here is like Harpreet said earlier, it's getting into a routine. You just can't wake up one day and say that I'm going to work out at five in the morning and the next day at five in the evening. Your body just doesn't get used to it. You need to get into a schedule. You need to get into a routine. So your meal timings are important. Your workout timing is important. Your, uh, uh, the amount that you're pushing yourself is important. So uh, all these things play a very big factor into the fitness part. You just can't say that I'm going to be working out just about any time of the day. You feel like getting up at one in the afternoon and work out. It's not going to work. You need to get a schedule first.